This is the city of Tracy. This is the downtown area. It's, it's a fairly spread out city. John Upton is a reporter following the story for the Tracy Press. This is the bow tie. Serland Homes is actually talking about possibly uh, building some homes here, but most of it would probably be built down in the southwest corner. So Serland has some land in here. This is AKT's Tracy Hills home. And as you can see, it, it's, it's quite a long way out from the rest of the city. This is 580, so they want to put their homes, you know, clustered around 580 which gives the commuters easy access to drive into the city. And it's also close to the ACE train station. If passed through, together these two developments would bring nearly 10,000 homes to the city. That's raising some opposition, some of it coming from other landowners. So these would be the only real developments to occur within Tracy for the next 10 or 20 years. And that's because in 2000 the city passed Measure A, which will limit the amount of home construction to 600 a year. As it stands, these two developments would take up a big chunk of that allotment. A lot of these landowners are feeling that they've been left out of the city. Um, they have land that's very close to the downtown area, but at the moment they aren't really, they're not really facing a, a very attractive prospect of being able to develop anytime soon. They're feeling shut out. In Tracy, Maureen Kelly, Cron 4 News.